Hello YouTube and welcome to another video tutorial from Tutsub. This time we will create this animation. You can use this animation as a looping GIF animation or maybe in a video or portfolio presentation. This video will give you the idea on how to make an animation like this using any illustration application and After Effect, and it will have two parts. The first will be the modeling and the second part will be the animation on After Effect. So let's begin by opening Affinity Designer and creating a new file. My dimensions will be 1000 by 1000 pixels. You are free to choose your own dimensions. Now click OK and let's begin by drawing a circle using the ellipse tool. Remove the stroke color and give it a nice red color for the fill. Now convert the circle into a curve so we can edit it. And by using the node tool I will give this small modification. Ok now go back to the move tool and make a copy from the circle using Ctrl C and Ctrl V shortcuts in the keyboard. Next move the top copy a little bit to the, the upper left direction just like what I did. And put it inside the bottom layer like this. After that select the final layer and change its color into a slightly darker red so it will look like a shadow effect. Ok now let's make the eyes. So to make the eyes I will just draw a circle, and give it a dark grey color. Now place the first eye on the face. And by pressing Ctrl and dragging with the mouse, you will be able to make a copy of it for the left eye. Now continue by drawing another smaller circle with a white color. And place it on its place with the move tool. and copy it with the same technique. Now let's give it two red cheeks with almost the same technique. Now to make the mouth I will simply use the pen tool like this. This time I will give it a stroke with the same color of the eyes. And I will increase its width in the stroke menu. And don't forget to correctly place it. Now like what I did for the mouth. I will make the rest of the face. Check the scale with object option from the stroke menu. So when I will resize the layer the stroke will scale with it like this. Now for the other side, I will flip the two strokes using the flip horizontal tool and the top toolbar. Now change the color of the stroke to be the same color as the left cheek. Now the last thing will be the shadow with a light gray color. and make sure to move its layer to be under everything. Ok great, we finished working on our character. Now let me save it under the name red. Now I will export it to Photoshop to prepare it for After Effect. And to do that, you can either go to File, Export. Or simply use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus Alt plus Shift plus S. 
And from this menu, choose the PSD option and click on export. Now choose where you will export your file and click save. Ok now let's go to the exported file, and let's open it in Photoshop. Ok now let me begin here by renaming every layer, so it will be recognizable for me later on After Effect. Now I will select every layer except for the left and right white eye layer, because I will need to edit them later on After Effect, don't worry you will see later why I did this. Now click the left mouse button and choose Rasterize Layers. Now select these two layers and merge them together using the Ctrl plus E shortcut on the keyboard. And the last thing here will be removing the background layer. Congratulations, you have prepared your file for the animation on After Effect. Please make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoy it, and I will see you guys in part 2.